In addition to truly groundbreaking technologies, CES is also about discovering fun, quirky gadgets. Basically, a couple of years ago, I went to Disney with all my children, and they loved the 3D films and the 3D attractions that were there. And as I walked out, I thought to myself, it's really odd that if somebody gave you an iPod with one earphone, you'd think it was crazy because you've got two ears. We've got two eyes, but we're happy with webcams that have just got one lens. So the idea was born to make a webcam that had two eyes, a left eye and a right eye, and would transmit 3D images. We've got two cameras in there, a left and a right camera. In the middle of the two, we've got a processor where we've written software. That software is basically a huge lookup table, which allows us to process the image from the left and the right and convert it to one image, because most PCs on Macs will only receive one image at a time. So we're running at 30 frames a second, and it appears to the PC or the Mac as one image. But red, blue anaglyphs have been around for years. So why choose such an old stereoscopic technology? Yeah, the reason for that is very simple, that apart from a very, very select few, which I can probably count on one hand, apart from maybe you, Hefner, I don't know anybody who's got a 3D display. So we need to do something that'll appeal to everyone. With the red and cyan glasses on, the colors were inconsistent. But David said the camera should be forward compatible with new technologies. In the future, people who've got 3D monitors or 3D TVs will be able to watch it without the glasses because we can also transmit in what's called side-by-side -side mode. The menorah won't set you back too much. It's available on Amazon for 89 bucks. Check back here often for more coverage live from CES. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Josh Romero.